Hey everybody, I'm on my way down to the Hoosier National Forest and uh, it's a beautiful morning out there this morning so uh, I'll be sure to have plenty to share with you and uh, I'm looking forward to getting away from all this craziness and so be sure to follow along. Hey everybody, we're back again. Uh, getting kind of familiar with this board here, aren't we? So today we're going to do the hike that I've originally planned to do and never have got to do yet. Uh, we're going to hike clear out here to the end of the Peninsula Trail and uh, check it out. That's what originally drove me to this area and uh, today we're going to get to do it. So uh, let's get hiking. Been a typical Indiana spring, lots of rain here lately, so uh, trail's kind of muddy. As I said earlier, it's pretty muddy, but you can also see what I think it looks like tire tracks going down through here. So uh, I got a feeling the Indiana DNR, Department of Natural Resources, has been back in here checking things out. So uh, hopefully, maybe. They've done some cleaning up back here if it needed it, and uh, maybe the place will be in good shape for us. Don't know how well you can see this, but uh, this thing would be dangerous on a windy day. Big tree limb or half a freaking tree up in the air. I can tell it's up there. And down there is the ground. And there isn't any part of it touching the ground. Even this end over here is up in the air. Because there's a the ground down there. That's stuff you have to watch for on windy days that can fall on you and hurt you or kill you. Getting a lot of uphills now. 
This mud is killing me. I gotta go off the trail a lot to get around it. Because as you can see, get up here and show you, it's puddled full of water in a lot of places. So, I mean, I'm not concerned about getting muddy, but that's a little bit over the top. So we go around again. Up trail around that way. This one's a little closer. Some of them go way out around the woods. So here we go. Try to start sharing some of the trail with you here. I've been trying to make my way about as quick and as best I could, but we're in a new part here, so I'll kind of share it with you. I haven't been back this far. This, this is new to me today, but you can see all this mud. And in places like this, there's just no way around it, so you just pick your spot and hope for the best. So, I've learned this trail is not good for real wet weather because it doesn't look like it dries out a lot. Last time I was back on the other half of the trail, it was wet too in spots. But we've had more rain since then, so it's like wet all over this time. But we're getting there. We've gone about two miles now. A little over an hour. I've been stopping and filming and stuff. And see, here's one. Here's one of the trails that lead off to go around the mud that we just. So we're making way. Another hour. We ought to be back at the peninsula, back at the lake. So. I'll try to share some more of the trail with you as we go along so you can see what I'm going through. So keep following along. Just ran up on a woman with a riding a horse and had two dogs with her. Uh, it's popping up over the hill and the dogs see me start barking and I wasn't sure if I should continue on or if I could get dog bit or what. So. Uh, I stopped and asked her if it was okay and she said yeah it was fine they wouldn't be they wouldn't bother me so I did and the dogs were fine they were just being a little protective which I understand no problem as long as they're not going to be biting me I'm good with that so uh, she said there was some women that were out in here hiking last week and uh, got turned around and lost and uh, they had to tell them how to find their way out of here. They was kind of struggling on finding their way. So uh, that's where your navigation always comes in handy. I've got my GPS with me. I've got my compass with me. And I've got a map of the area. So I'm pretty much covered no matter what happens. So, and I've got my power supply to keep my phone charged so I can use my GPS as much as possible. Because as I've said in the past, I kind of like it better than the, than the map. I'm kind of a techie kind of hiker, I guess. Modern day hiker, I call myself. There you go. So, uh, you see the trails narrowing here. We ought to be coming up to Y before long, where we can either go on around the loop or turn left. And uh, we're making our way back to the peninsula and we'll check out the lakes. Running into a lot of area with the trees down and stuff. I mean, they've cut them down and cleared them out. Uh, that the woman I stopped and was talking with back there, she was on horse, on a horse, and uh, she said a lot of the trails are crap. 
because a lot of trees are down in the way and stuff for them to get through so I don't know if they normally tend to these real good or, or what, but they're pretty good shape for me other than the mud. But uh, I guess on horseback it could be a different story. So you can see we're narrowed down. Uh, we are out on the peninsula. I made the transition back here not long after I spoke with the, the woman on the horse. So uh, the water should be pretty much on either side of me now, left to right. Oop, that went down on that one. Boy, you about had a good one for the film on there. Uh, water should be on my left and right. I can't see it through the woods, but according to the map that's what it is so I'm gonna put this thing up for a bit and navigate my way through this mud well we're up here on the ridge now I don't know if you can see how high up we are but that we're looking down a steep hill here where we're headed but you, you can't see but out right out through there that's the lake we're out on the peninsula and I can see the water on my uh, my right hand side so uh, we're getting there Slipping and sliding back here. I went down again. Got me to thinking. I'm just currently wearing tennis shoes. So uh, maybe a good hiking boot might be helpful. But like I said, I'm just getting started out in this this year. So these things kind of come to me as I experience them. So yeah, I think I'm going to invest in a good Instead of hiking boots, something with some cleat to it that give me some traction on times like this so I'm not slipping and sliding so much. Hate to be back this far and fall and break a leg or something. I'm about two hours in, about four miles back. I think by the time it's said and done, I'll be about five miles into the forest back to the lake so this is kind of be a milestone for me I don't think I've ever hiked this far before so this was kind of a goal Have a break here. Have a good drink of water. We're almost, almost there. Kind of give you an idea where we're at. Let's see if we can see this. I think you can see that. Obviously, we're the blue dot, and uh, we're heading clear out there to the peninsula. Two hours and 25 minutes of hiking. We've gone 3.9, almost four miles, and uh, averaging about 2.7 miles an hour. So, I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's what we're doing. Fighting this mud, I'd say that's pretty good. So, if you look, 
heading out to the water. Water's on both sides of us already. We just can't see it because of the woods. So that's where we're headed. So we'll take one more slug of this water and get our butts in gear. carried about 64 ounces of water with me right now and I've drank one of these already which is 16 ounces and this one's down to about 12 so still got another whole 32 ounces in my backpack and if we need to I have a filter in my bag I can get some water at the end of the trail here and fill up before we head back so we're good to go on water well, this looks like where everybody must sign their name that they've been here. This poor tree doesn't have a chance. Here's the other side. I don't know what it is about these pine forests, but I just think they're so cool. I don't know if it's because I don't normally see them or what, but I just like standing here looking and seeing kind of down the aisles between the trees. It's just kind of cool. I don't know why they put these logs along the edge of this trail, but all it's doing is trapping the water. There's nothing to either side that's protecting you from, other than the weeds maybe. But it just makes a nice muddy trough for you to have to walk in. But I think I'm going to go over there and walk in on the edge. It was like this back behind me too where I just came from. I don't know. I don't know why they done this. Unless maybe just to force you to stay down this path. I don't know. So far this whole trail's like this. I don't know. I've been walking on it. Ten minutes maybe. And it's got these logs along each side making a narrow path the more i think about it we're back here at the back now i'm just a few minutes away from the water's edge so i'm wondering if maybe this is prone to flood sometimes or it gets real swampy so they're trying to elevate the path to uh, keep it dry which uh for the most part it is where i'm at now back here all it did was trap the water so uh, that's just a thought it's the only thing I can figure it looks like off to each side I mean right now it's dry but it looks like it could be kind of swampy so I don't know that's a thought but we're here so I'll be showing you the water here pretty soon I think this is the reason for these logs along this trail. I think most of this place gets swampy or flooded sometimes, so they're trying to keep the path above the water level. I don't know if you can see it, if that's that that's water, but see that all out through there's water. 
so I think the, this whole trail is prone to swampy flooded area so they've tried to raise the trail up above it to keep the trail dry but it also traps the rainwater as you can see right here my path is full of water and we're here just on down the trail and we're at the water campers over here to my left setting up their hammocks Well, here's what it was all about. This is what the hike was for. As you can see, it's everything I expected. It's quite the view. So I think we're gonna get out the little cook stove and uh, heat up some lunch here and rest a while and then, then we'll head back down the muddy trail. As I do these hikes, I learn things that I need or things that I forgot and stuff like that. Well, one of them I forgot today was uh, some kind of rag or towel to wipe my hands or for just different things. And uh, so my shirt, uh, my extra shirt that I brought with me, it's going to be the rag for today. So I have to give it a good wash when I get home.
So my fancy meal for today is uh, beef ravioli and my utensils is a good old plastic spoon. Uh, I'm still learning what, you know, to bring with me and stuff like that. I'd like to learn to dehydrate some stuff and things like that, but I haven't got that far yet. So we're just starting out, so we'll just stick with these two. It'll build me a little windbreak and I help my stove not to burn up the fuel so quick. Last time I done a test drive with it, uh, it was pretty windy and it burnt the fuel up really fast. So, see if we can block the wind a little bit and uh, get the burn a little more efficient. Like I said, not a gourmet meal, but it's something easy to carry with you, and uh, I like it. it. Tastes pretty good. Stove's working great. Still not quite hot enough, but we're getting there. worked out real well. I'm pretty happy with that. Put her out and we're good. There we go. Cheers.
first official time cooking with my stove and I'm pretty pretty pleased. So I'll sign off for now, eat my lunch and uh, get back on the trail and head back to the truck. Well, my Azabek cook stove's all cleaned up, all packed up, back up in his little bag, and ready to go back in the backpack. I'm really pleased with this, and uh, I can use it quite a bit. I like it when I don't have time to do a big fire and then worry about it burning out and making sure I've got all the coals and everything put out before I leave. This is a good way to hike out somewhere, have lunch. It cools off quickly. I put it back up, put it in my backpack, and I'm off on my way again. So, uh, yeah, I really like this. Well, this mud is just giving me fits. I've already shoulder butted two trees on my way here, walking around like I'm drunk or something. And uh, I'll show you here in a minute. I don't know if you can see it or not. I slipped in the mud and caught it on a tree that's sticking out that was laid on the ground sticking outside of the lay of the path it just ripped right down my pant leg luckily the only thing is hurt basically was the pants i don't have a bruise and a scrape on my knee and my leg but no it didn't tear into me and i'm not bleeding or anything but this mud's just giving me fits well, hey everybody, I didn't record much on the way back to the truck because it was just the same muddy mess coming back as it was going. Um, I have to say today was quite the adventure. Um, with me shoulder button or shoulder tackling two trees because I'm slipping and sliding in the mud and then uh, slipping in the mud and banging my leg on a downed tree and uh, ripping my pants clear open and uh, probably bruising up my leg a little bit but overall I was happy with myself I mean I basically done 10 miles five miles there and five miles back so I'm real pleased with that uh, that's a big uh, accomplishment for me and the view once I got down to the end of the trail down by the lake was just fantastic so it was a great day for for eating lunch on the lake and uh, enjoying the weather and stuff so that was all good um, my only regret is the mud the mud just made it miserable trying to walk I couldn't even really enjoy the scenery because I was always having to look down and watch my footing and stuff so uh, that would be a good trail to do in drier weather and uh, maybe if I'm just going out going to hike down and camp for overnight or something and then hike back either that or get an earlier start I didn't get here until 11 a.m. so uh, I was kind of limited on time here it is 6 30 p.m. so uh, I couldn't stay very long with the lake so if I got here at 8 a.m. to start my hike that would be much better give me more time to enjoy the lake and enjoy my time down there so it's all learning experience and that's what my channel's about checking out the different areas and learning as I go so uh, thanks for watching and I'll be sure to have more videos for you as I find new hiking trails